Do you know what you could do? All in Canva? I'm gonna show you how I added these gradients to this intro, all in Canva. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. Okay, so let's start by entering Canva. In Canva, you want to create a design and let's say a video if we're doing a video. Let's name this our gradient video. Perfect. So let's add our video. To add your video, go to uploads and you could record yourself in here or we recorded this on this camera. We already have the video clip, so we're gonna upload the media. Here is my clip. I'm gonna upload it and now I just have to wait a moment for it to process. Depending on the length of the video, it might take you longer to process it. So there you have it. Once it's uploaded, you'll see it'll no longer be processing on the side and you'll see your video clip. So I wanna drag my video clip onto my canvas and I can stretch it. Press pause if you don't wanna hear it the whole time and stretch it so it fills your full screen. So once your clip is in, you need to be able to split it into sections because if you add an element on top of a slide, it's gonna show up for the entire slide. So if you wanna change the elements that appear in your video, you just have to split it into multiple slides. To cut your video, you can look up here and you can see the scissors and you can see the entire thing. And you can move the in and the out points. So what that means is you can trim the beginning and the end of the clip so that the particular part of the clip shows up on the slide. So let's adjust the first one. I want this to start just as I'm about to start speaking. So there you go. And I want it to end right after my first finger snap. There we go. So I have my first clip. Now I need to add more clips like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's see, I can zoom in down here. It's gonna make this bigger. And I want, what I'm looking for is I want this little timer here and these three dots to appear on top. Once I see those three dots, I can click on them and I can duplicate it. Or I can press Command D and that will also duplicate the clip. So let's delete that one. So if I click on my second clip and then I click on the timer down here, it's gonna have the same section. So what I wanna do, let's pause this, is I wanna move it to the next one. So this starts right after my snap. Let's play that. And it ends right after the next step. This one is perfectly timed, so I don't really need to do much changes to it. Now let's click on that clip and press Command D, duplicate that, or you can go through the three stars. And now I click on the timer on the bottom. It's gonna appear up here. And I wanna move this, so I can grab this and just move it to start from the next section. There we go. And then let's Command D and add the last section. So I'm gonna click on it, click on the timer. And I know this is from the last snap. And then I wanna extend it to the end of my clip. Once you're done with all your slides, you can preview it to make sure that the timing works. So to preview, just press the play button up here. So you can see that jump there. That means I didn't cut it right. So I have to go back in here and make sure I can trim them a little bit better. So where was that jump? It was right there. So let's trim that beginning of it. Click on the timer. I just need to trim that beginning. Now let's preview that. So what you're gonna be doing is you're just going to be trimming them and adjusting it until they all match. There we go. So you can see it just takes a little bit of fine tuning to make sure your clips are in and out where they need to be. But as soon as that's done, the hard part is over. Now we get to add the gradients and the elements on top of our video. So to do that, all we gotta do is select whichever one we want to add to and then go to elements. You can add 
any of the elements onto that specific video clip and it will appear for the duration of that clip. So let's look for some gradients. With the gradients, there's different kinds of gradients that you can get. There's ones like these, so I can extend it so it fits my frame. And with these, when you see when I click on this gradient, it doesn't have any colors appear on the top corner. That means I'm not able to change the colors of it. It is what it is. So if I like this gradient and I want to add it, that's awesome. I can, I can put it on top of my video. But the problem now is you can't see me anymore. So that's easily fixable with transparency. So transparency is located right here. So what I can do is reduce the transparency so that I can see myself. There we go. And let's preview. How does that look? I do. Now let's add a different one. I want to look for one that I can adjust. So you can see with this one, once I dragged it in, the colors appear up here. So that allows me to change the colors of it. Say I want to add a gradient with a transparent side. So I'm just going to type in gradient transparent. And you can see there's one here. And then basically I just stretch it out. I don't have to fill the entire screen with my gradient. In instead, I can have it so it's going to appear on both sides of me. So let's say I want my blue. Say I want it on one side and then let's add this and let's flip it. There we go. Change my coloring and let's add it to the other side. There we go. So now you can see how I was able to add the gradient on both sides of me. I can move it to the side if I want it to go off of me a little so I stand out a little bit more, but you can still see the gradient on it. So for that, you want to go for gradient, transparent, and find the first one that allows you to have a transparent center in it. So let's preview that. And then for this last one, let's add this transparent uh, gradient with these colors. So you see this one's really cool because it allows me to have the middle as a circle. So I'm going to select the clip that I want to add it to, drag the gradient, and now I can stretch the gradient so that it goes all the way around and doesn't affect my face and it still looks cool. Click on the side and let's preview that. All in Canva. I'm going to show you how I added these gradients to this intro all in Canva. <laughs> Say for example you want to add the gradient to a photo. So I'm going to add a new slide. I'm going to go into my uploads. I'm going to go into my images and look for an image I can add it to. Let's see. Here's one. A similar image. And then I'm going to go to elements, type in gradient transparent because I don't want it to go over the whole thing. Which one would I like? Let's do this one. It's added a cool circle around me. And then you can adjust the size, move it to where you want it. And there you have it. You have a gradient around your images. So there you have it. Now you know how to add gradients to your videos and your photos. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace!